All right. So first thing I'm going to unbox here is going to be the case, which is a Rosewell Red Bone. It should be a pretty decent case, and it was thirty-nine dollars. But let's get that on out of here. Best way to get cases out, by far. Then we just turn it right side up. We can take the foam off. Alright, so we got ourselves a uh, ghetto installation guide on one piece of paper that's cool but now let's take a closer look at the computer itself let's see get this off of there now it's hard to tell but the uh, front here is actually red on the sides here and then here we got a USB 2.0 port audio jacks another USB 2.0 2.0 port, an eSATA port, and then we've got a power and a reset switch. Then there's three drive bays, and then there's a smaller one that you could use to put a fan controller or something in. Now on the side here, we've got some ventilation. I'm sure I could put some fans in here later on if I wanted to for the client. Now let's just open it up. Well, actually, I'm going to cut this part out. I'm just going to open up the side real quick. Alright. Now the inside, we have a, a cutout so you can get to the CPU retention bracket without taking your motherboard out. If I ever want to upgrade the cooler. Right now we're going with stock, but he might want to overclock or do something else later. We got a 120 millimeter fan in the back. And then there's a red illuminated 120 in the front. Toolless drive bays. And then bottom mounted PA or power supply with dust filter on the bottom here. On the back, we've got some holes for water cooling. Seven expansion slots here. That's where the I.O. for the motherboard goes. And then you can hide all your cables easier here because they've actually made this protrude a little bit and it actually does go in a little bit as you can see on the front so that pretty much concludes this unboxing so till next vid peace out